All we have to do is run by him when he's not paying attention. The little boss. Win button! <laughs> That's really funny. That's really cool. All right. Hey everyone, it's Darby from Blue Television Games. Today we're going to be checking out some early games made with Nest Maker. It is officially released now, and a lot of these games were made with the beta version of the game, and a lot of these are a work in progress, but I thought it'd be fun today to see what people are already creating with Nest Maker. This first thing we're going to check out here is called Mermaid's Den Deep Sea Escape, and this is a game made in the beta version of the game by Mihoshi20. Let's go ahead and start it up. All right, so this is really cool. He's actually made all custom graphics here and I think this is custom music as well I don't think this is one of the beta songs they included in the beta version of the game all right so we have lives uh, looks like we have an attack so we can kind of try to shoot these fish depending on which direction we push which way we'll shoot that's kind of cool now that's a spike we can't do anything with the controls kind of unique it does kind of feel like you're swimming <laughs> as we swim into that spike on accident. It feels like it's kind of pulling you up or down once you start moving a little bit. Ooh, can we take that guy out? You guys kicking the crap out of us. No, I can't take that guy out. I guess we're just dodging him. All right, a little bit farther and we have a pickup here. Kind of fighting it. Wants to pull up a little bit. I think that's just how the control is. Treasures one. Oh crap. <laughs> and we swim into a spike again. This is really cool. I'm pretty impressed by this. There wasn't a lot you could do in the beta yet, so, or not a lot of uh, things set up easily to do. So this is pretty dang impressive. And I'm actually playing this on an emulator. Uh, I tried to play it on my power pack and play it in an actual console, but I didn't have any luck with that. There was a mapper missing that we needed. All right, we killed the crab guy and it opened the door. All right, we wanna swim down. Okay, that's background elements. Oh, it looks like a little boss fight. <laughs> Octopus guy. Alright, take his arms out. Take him out. Opens up the door. We can continue on. Alright, nothing in this room. And nothing in this room. A lot of the demos and stuff I've heard are pretty short. Uh, since this is a full game, it might actually be a decent length here. Okay. Take him out. Take him out. Lots of enemies, and this almost feels like a new area, which is cool. I don't know if there's checkpoints or not. We got some cannonballs. <laughs> this weird little skeleton head thing or something. All right, we got a few of these to swim by. We just got lucky. I didn't really try to plan that out or time it out. All right, so we need to find something to get up through there can't get up through there yet. So it must be another item. Maybe another treasure a little bit farther. We'll see if we can unlock that other door. Yep, another treasure. Cool. Try to decide if I like that there's not very many sound effects when you're swimming, because that could get annoying if there was constantly a sound effect. A better sound effect for throwing the uh, item out would be nice. I haven't even messed with trying to make sound effects yet. I do enjoy the little music though. It does set the atmosphere pretty nice. We don't really need to kill these guys, but it's just kind of fun. All right, now swim up. Little fish guys. Okay, more of the arms. Opened up another door. Yeah, I really like the sprite work. It's got its own little style. Get a little gray crabs. You really learn a lot when you're messing with Nest Maker. Um, it's not an easy tool to use at all yet. Uh, oh crap, we swam into a spike, but we got a checkpoint. That's cool. Looks like we have five lives. This looks like even another new area. But as I was saying, so far using Nestmaker, there's a lot of learning to do. But what Nestmaker does is it eliminates the use of, or eliminates the need to learn a bunch of code. But you still need to learn to use the system. And also, starting out, Pretty much everything's blank. I mean, you don't have any characters, sound effects, music, or anything. So there's a lot to learn, but there's a cool little community already where people are willing to help make songs for your game. Uh, they could probably even make you sprites for your characters and stuff if you wanted. Or you can do it all yourself and learn as you go. I've started working on a little game 
all I've gotten done so far is I've made my main character. Uh, I'm going to try to make a platformer type game. So once I get a little more of that, uh, maybe I'll show you a demo of it. Uh, we don't want to touch that top. we got three lives left. It'd be really cool if we could beat this. Alright, let's try killing both of these. Might need to find another treasure to open this one up. We do. Okay. Took a chance there. Let's keep going. And there it is. The final treasure. Don't swim into the... Man, I feel like that spike pulled me in. That was unfair. It's gotta be ready. When you hit up, you really float up. Oh, that kills you in one hit. Okay, we got one more chance. Let's see if we can get a little farther here. Alright, we're taking our time. Grabbing that treasure. Okay, we got all three treasures. We have one life left, though. I don't want to get killed by this jellyfish thing. Okay, he's dead. Go! Oh, don't swim into the spike! Okay. Let's just go up, 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 up. Quickly! Alright. Hopefully we get to the final boss here. That would be cool. Another area. Purple. It's cool that all the per uh Oh, we're dead. We died. We lost. That sucks. But like that every part of the game had a different color, so it felt like you were advancing levels. Alright, so that's a good chunk of Mermaid's Den. Let's go ahead and try out another game. Alright, this one's called Press Start Game by Dale. And I think this is a work in progress. Wow, and look how different this looks. It's got a completely different HUD at the top. We don't have a weapon. And our uh, character's just a square right now. I don't know if he's going to change that. Level one. We got multiple paths we can take. Definitely needs some music. I'll go ahead and add a little music in the background just to kind of make the game have more of a fun feel to it. All right, we can't get through that way. The sprite work's really neat. It's like kind of simplistic, but it looks really cool. I, oh, we died. Okay, let's try again. <laughs> I think we died. Something happened, it went back to the main menu. Uh, the games could be a little glitchy too, like this is a work in progress, and I think this might be another one that was made in the beta of the game. Alright, you need a green key card to get through there. And that is our weapon. Cool. Might come in handy. Watch out for those. More green squares. I don't think, I, I mean, I think we want to dodge the orange stuff. Looks like we can go through the green squares. There's that green key card. Ugh, sucks, if you get hit once, you die. All right, let's try it one more time. Let's see if we can get a little farther. But once again, this is a work in progress, but I'm really liking how different this was than the first game we tried out. Right, let's see if we can get this green key card. Okay, yeah, we got him. All right, we need more, oh. I, we die, I don't know how we keep dying. Sometimes I, we must be getting hit and I don't realize it. Uh, so this one's definitely a little bit rough, but I like this little press start title screen and I like how different this looked than the first game. Let's try out another. All right, Jude the Adventurer. And this one was made by Neomage50. This is also a work in progress. I think this title screen must have been made from scratch, but I think the music was included in the beta. Uh, we have our character. This is a little character I think he made. And he's got a totally different HUD. This time it's at the bottom. Everything's quite a bit different looking. Oh man, okay. So I think this music was included in the beta. Uh, but it really shows you, you know, some music's really going to add a lot, you know, to your game. Because if you have no music, they're going to be a little boring. Ha! <laughs> Alright, that's the wrong way, I guess. Alright, his enemies are pretty funny looking. They look like, uh, like food or like candy or something. Alright, this goes to show you how you can make some top-down kind of RPG type games. Or you can even manip manipulate them like that mermaid game we played earlier. Oh crap. Nothing in that room. Alright, let's dodge that. And there we go, it gets the square that says end. And probably finish the game. The end of this demo. You may now shut down your nest. <laughs> All right, so that one, you know, was very rough around the edges, but someone managed to make a character, make them move around, make different screens, and come up with an end screen as well. Once again, quite different than the other two we've seen, so all three were very different. We got two more to check out. Let's move on. 
All right, this one's called Super Beta Bros 3, aka the I don't know how version numbers work version. <laughs> made with Ness Maker. This one was made by Mist Sonata. Let's start it up. All right, so this is another top-down game made with the beta, and it's just a work in progress. As you can see, this has a very cool RPG look to it. It's got paths, grass, a little fairy-looking character. You recognize the music. The music's taken from the beta assets. Uh, we can't go down, but we can continue on. Some enemies. These enemies were in the beta assets as well. It's not something he created. I'm not sure about the character. I think that might be an original character. I don't know. It looks really cool, though. There's a path up here, so let's see what's up there. Oh, we died. Okay, one hit kills you. Alright, let's try to get back there. Alright, back to the screen. Let's see if we can sneak by this guy and see what's up top. There's a hole. <laughs> Alright, now we got a boss looking character here blocking our path, but we have no weapon. Um, now we're dead. Maybe we should try the other way, see if we get a weapon. Alright, third time's a charm they say. Let's try the other path. I like how he made the trees, but then made everything black around the outside. So showing the treetops, that's really cool. Oh, we definitely don't want to be in that room. Uh, it's okay that we don't have a weapon, I guess. Maybe we can sneak by this guy somehow. All we have to do is run by him when he's not paying attention. Cool little boss. Win button! <laughs> That's really funny. That's really cool. Alright. Walk onto the win button and do a little spinny thing and wink. <laughs> I like it. Configulations, you done did it. Wow, so cool. That's it, show's over, please leave. Uh, that was pretty funny. All right, we have one more thing to check out. All right, so this particular game is just an animation and this was made by Abstraction. I don't know if eventually you're gonna be able to move the character around. I noticed if you hit the B button, it makes kind of a jump noise. So maybe he's going to make a platformer type game out of this. It's got some really vibrant, different kind of colors. Definitely pretty cool. Let me know what you thought of these very early work in progress Nest Maker games in the comments below. Also, if you plan to check out Nest Maker and maybe make some games, I'd love to check them out. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you're new to the channel and you like what you see, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys so much for watching. And until next time, I'll see you around.